Isaac Walton for Hunting the River King, taking a look today at the Das and Dry Dive Snorkel Mask. Now this looks a lot uh, very similar to some of the other masks I've reviewed, kind of like the Easy Breathe, Breathe Easy, um, and several other ones, including one by Das Leben. You'll notice a couple key differences. Number one, this has a flat surface for viewing. That's really important when you're viewing underwater, otherwise you'll get a weird conical bubble effect. So good job Das Leben for doing that. Flat across the top here. Number two, it has this little GoPro attachment here where you can mount an action camera. We're going to be demoing that today out here in San Diego, trying it out, showing how that actually works. It's that universal GoPro mount. Really excited to have that feature. Allows you to have your hands free while you're actually out there snorkeling around. These come in two different sizes. There's like a medium and a small size. Here's the medium right here. Here's the smaller size here. A lot of different colors. Got a blue and a purple one here today. Um, in the little bag it comes with, you also get a couple replacement parts. Looks like kind of a valve part here. And over here, you get a little thing for your nose or for your ears if you have a problem getting the water in there, which you really shouldn't. Okay, so let's try it out. Here we are again, once again, Das Leben Dry Dive Snorkel Mask out here in San Diego. Can't wait to give this a shot. Let's do it. So here's how you put the GoPro on top of the snorkel mask. It doesn't have to be a GoPro, it could be the SJ4000, the I, Get Up, whatever. Whatever one uses a compatible GoPro uh, case, just like that. You will need a little bolt attachment, but whenever you buy an action camera, you should have a bunch of those by default. Also, on the side, there's that little bolt right there. That comes with it, okay? So that's how you put it. It's adjustable. You can push it up or down. Regardless, just find the best pose or the best angle that you need to catch what you're doing. Let's go try it. version of the Easy Breathe, Breathe Easy, the other ones I've reviewed before. I really like it. It's really nice. Not only that, but it has this GoPro attachment on the top here. You can adjust it as you need to. You can film. That's really allows you to hand-free snorkeling. So where this thing excels is in calm, chill water, like right out here, okay? Not somewhere that's really choppy or wild. You really don't want to be using it when there's a lot of waves. Um, this right here increases the alveolar dead space. So if you're trying to work too hard to breathe, um, and you have to move air through all this in addition to through the mask, you're going to get a little too tired in really choppy water. That could be dangerous. In really calm water, this thing excels. It's very comfortable to put on. 
you know, adjust the straps back here. All in all, Sandasa has another winner on their hands. I'm just glad they made the modifications I suggested last time, where they got rid of the conical shape of the mask, which distorts it underwater, and instead made it just a flat mask all the way across. All right, guys, this is the Dasla and Dry Dice Girl. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so a question that I frequently get is, how do one of these breathe easy, dry dive, snorkel style masks compare to just a traditional snorkeling mask, and why would you want to even use one of these when these have been around for so long? So let me give you the pros and the cons here. Um, long and short, the awesome feature of these style masks is how you get this almost 180 degree field of view here. I mean, it's, it's huge. You really can view the underwater world very nicely. However, the problem with this entire design, um, and it's really accented in this dry dive, is that you have to move a lot more air to breathe, and as a result, you can get really tired, and that could be dangerous in some situations. However, if you're just in a super calm water, just putting your head down, poking around in like a protected lagoon, it's really not as big a deal for someone who's in reasonable physical condition. Take a look at how it circulates air. So this is going to connect up top, then air is going to come all the way through that little tiny hole right there it goes through here and has to get through this little valve here that's designed to help reduce um, some of the condensation that occurs with snorkeling um, all the way to your nose and mouth okay so it's going through this valve and then through a tight space here as a result I mentioned that dead space concept you're having to move air quite a bit to get it in and you could feel tired as a result of that. That's why this would definitely not be a safe mask to wear in choppy waters or by someone who's in poor physical condition. Um, but might be an option if you're comfortable with it in a calm protected lagoon environment and you have the benefit of having this cool, um, on not really 3D, but very wide field of view. On the other hand, we have this traditional snorkel mask. I love these, they work fantastic. You still have to move air from here to here. Um, there's not like a valve feature here that makes it even harder to breathe um, and, and still a, a distance, a, a dead space distance to move air but it's not as significant as these right here. You don't have quite the same field of view although this one here has some nice inserts on the side. Um, I find that I enjoy snorkeling in both of these masks. Uh, they're not for everyone. I think if you're going to snorkel, you should at least know how to use both of them. You shouldn't rely just on one. Um, but definitely know what conditions are best for which mask. All in all, one of these kind of masks um, you can use in many different conditions, even if the water is a little bit more choppy, just because there's not the same features as far as having a separate valve to restrict airflow here. This mask is really fun in a really calm, protected environment. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? <laughs>